I'm sure most people watching this are fully aware of what straw manning is in terms of um, discussions and arguments, but what about steel manning? Um, I ran into this a few months ago on a podcast, and I think it was uh, Brett Weinstein who mentioned this. He may well be the person who uh, came up with this concept, but whereas straw manning an argument is um, oversimplifying the other person's position and then attempting to destroy that and then usually claiming victory afterwards, as done by young earth creationists all the time and other conspiracy theorists, steel manning is the opposite of that. Steel manning is where you uh, put a lot of effort into trying to fully understand the other person's position. And you may well, you can assume that the other person might know something you don't, or they might know some, they might, there might be something valuable in their argument, which is worth knowing. Um, and it's a technique which um, I've been attempting to employ for a very long time, and it's really what underlies the scientific method. If you're genuinely curious about something, um, you f keep investigating um, and doing honest research, and it may well turn out that the conclusions you already hold turn out to be wrong. Um, but simply claiming the other person is wrong, the way a lot of these people do when it comes to subjects of the age of the earth, evolution, um, anthropogenic, global warming, those sorts of things, it seems to me, in these conversations, that a lot of the time the people on the other end, the people who are arguing against the scientists, uh, really haven't put a lot of effort into learning how these things work. And I've been recently suggesting to them that they should really attempt to steel man it, um, learn properly what the climate scientists are actually saying or what the evolutionary biologists are actually saying and see if you can dismantle that argument because it's easy to dismantle a straw man but... Uh, not so much with a steel man. So this is mainly in response to um, Joseph MacGruber. Whether he will take any of this on board is uh, debatable, but uh, we, we shall see. Anyway, just a short one this time. Um, thank you for watching and see you next time.